In this video, we're going to build a PAR levels report. The purpose of the PAR levels report is to see our inventory levels, the difference between our PAR levels and our current inventory, and the amount of items that were sold over the last 7 and 30 days, along with predicting when we will be meeting our PAR level based on that previous sales data. This is a very valuable tool within the platform that is set up during your implementation with the FlowHub team. To begin building this report, we're going to navigate to the Reports News section of the platform. If you see the screen flash and reload, this is expected behavior within the platform when navigating to the Reports tabs. Now that we're in the Reports New, we're going to see our dashboards initially. At the top left, we're going to select the Dashboard dropdown and navigate to Reports. At the top right, we're going to select Create New Report. We're going to name our report PAR Levels and use the same description. Now, from the drop-down, let's select PAR Level. The next page is going to be our Add New Report page. This will allow us to select our different fields for this specific report. I believe that all of the fields add value to this report, especially over a longer period of time. So let's check all fields. The next page is going to be our Filters page. This will allow us to filter by location, brand, category, and even type. Let's select all of these. Once we hit save, we will now have our PAR level report ready to be pulled. However, we can go one step further with our reports new. We can schedule this report to be delivered every Monday morning. To schedule the report, we're going to highlight the report that we want to schedule. Once we've selected the desired report, we'll select the Schedule Report on the right side of the screen. From here, we'll be able to select the desired frequency of the report and then add our email address into the Emails field. Great. Now when this report is delivered, we'll be able to pull that report and evaluate the data to see what was sold over the last seven days, 30 days, and how quickly we'll be reaching our desired PAR level. To recap, we selected the Reports New tab on the left side of the platform, selected the dashboards and toggled to Report Selected, the plus at the top right of the page to build a new report. From here, we selected the PAR level, checked our fields and filters, then pulled the report. To schedule, we selected the Schedule Report option and completed the modal. 